Lulu de la Feles was a fashion muse and designer of fashion, accessories and jewelry associated with Yves Saint Laurent. Author Judith Thurman, writing in the New Yorker magazine, called La Fell as the quintessential Reeve Gauche Haute Boa copyrightman. Daughter of an Anglo-Irish fashion model and a French marquee, La Fell as was a close friend and creative partner of Yves Saint Laurent. According to The Independent, she helped inspire his 1966 women's tuxedo la smoking and his see-through blouses. After more than three decades designing jewelry and accessories for Saint Laurent, La Fell has launched her own fashion business, designing ready-to-wear, costume jewelry, and accessories, which were retailed in the U.S. as well as to Lulu de La Fell's shops in Paris. The family's actual surname is La Bailey, though members have used La Bailey de La Fell's, referring to an ancestral estate, since the mid-19th century. It is typically abbreviated to De La Fellas. The title held by the head of the family, Marquis de la Caudre, was granted, by an 1876 act of succession, to the younger son of Pacamie from a section while La Bailey, Seigneur de la Fellas, and his wife, Pauline Louise Victoire de Loins, daughter of Denis, Marquis de la Caudre. Family Christened Louise Varva Lucia Henriette La Bailey de La Fellas and born in England, she was the eldest child and only daughter of Alain, Count de La Fellas, a French writer, translator, and publisher, and his second wife, the former Maxime Blee, an Anglo Irish fashion model, whom photographer Cecil Beaton once told, You are the only English woman I know who manages to be really chic in really hideous clothes. Three of her christening names honoured relations, Louise. Vava. And Henriette. La Fellas was allegedly baptized not with holy water but with shocking, the scent by fashion designer Elsa Schiaparelli, her mother's employer. La Fellas' maternal grandfather was portrait painter Sir Oswald Blee, and an uncle was Mark Blee, restaurateur and founder of the London nightclub, Annabelle's. Another uncle, her father's elder brother, was Henri de La Fellas' film director and third husband of American actress Gloria Swanson. Her paternal grandfather was a three-time French Olympic gold medalist in fencing, Louis Gabriel de La Fellas. Lulu de La Fellas had one sibling, Alexis Richard Dion Oswald La Bailey de La Fellas, 1948-2004, a furniture designer, who appeared in the Andy Warhol film Tub Girls. Upon their parents' divorce in 1950 a euro following Maxime de la Fellas's infidelities and a French court's declaration of her as an unfit move there a euro Lulu and her brother went to live with foster families until she was seven. After that, la Fellas was enrolled in English boarding schools, and her school holidays were shared between mother, father, and the second foster family. She attended a boarding school in Switzerland as well as the liquor copyright E for an section A's de New York, though was expelled from each due to her rebellious nature. Her niece, Lucy Le Bailey de la Fellas, a model, is the wife of Marlon Richards, son of Keith Richards and Anita Pallenberg. Her nephew, Daniel Le Bailey de la Fellas, is a professional chef and food writer. Career La Fellas moved to New York City in the late 1960s where she briefly modeled for American Vogue before turning to designing printed fabrics for Halston. Late in the decade she worked as a junior editor at the British Society magazine Queen, during which time she met Saint Laurent. Eventually, she moved to Paris, where she joined his haute couture firm in 1972. Responding to a description of her as a Saint Laurent muse in 2010, La Fellas responded, a euro oe for me. Amuse is someone who looks glamorous but is quite passive, whereas I was very hard working. I worked from 9 a.m. to sometimes 9 p.m., or even 2 a.m. I certainly wasn't passive a euro. Her official task was to bring her eccentric style to accessories and jewelry, and she duly came up with often chunky designs incorporating large colorful stones, enamel work or rock crystal. La Fellas also inspired Saint Laurent with her inventive wardrobe. One week she was Desdemona in purple velvet flares and a crown of flowers, the next Marlene, Dietrich with plucked crescent-shaped eyebrows. In 2002, when Saint Laurent retired, La Fellas began producing her own clothing and jewelry designs. As reported in the New York Times by fashion writer Kathy Horan, 
the clothing line captured much of her rare tasty Euro well-cut blazers in the best English tweeds, French sailor pants in linen, striped silk blouses with cheeky black lace edging, masculine walking coats with fur linings, and gorgeous knits in perfectly chosen colors. She also designed cloisonne copyright boxes and porcelain vases for Isiatides, as well as jewelry for the boutique of the Major Oil Gardens in Marrakech, Morocco. She sold simplified versions of her jewelry designs in a line created for the Home Shopping Network and created costume jewelry for Oscar de la Renta. She operated two of her own shops in Paris, one of which was designed by her brother, Alexis. Marriages, Lulu de la Feles was married twice, Desmond Fitzgerald, 29th Knight of Glynn, an Irish nobleman, who died on September 14, 2011. They married on October 6, 1966, separated the following year, and divorced in 1970. Her title upon marrying the knight was Madame Fitzgerald. For de copyright e Glosso Skiderola, a French writer, who is the youngest son of the painter Balthus. They married in Paris, France, on June 11, 1977. The bride wore a harem and turban ensemble from Yves Saint Laurent Rive Gauche. They had one child, a daughter, Anna. Death, La Feles died at Gisses Hospital, France, on November 5, 2011. The cause of death was not specified, other than as the result of a long illness. An obituary published in Women's Wear Daily stated, according to sources, de La Feles was diagnosed with lung cancer last June, but implored intimates to keep her health a private matter. Ancestry Notes References Fraser Cavassoni, Natasha. Lulu's Back in Town Mail on Sunday. Encyclopedia.com. Retrieved November 21, 2007. Quote, Lulu de la Feles was muse to Yves Saint Laurent for three decades. Now she has her own eponymous collection and, with the opening of her second Parisian boutique, is firmly established as the Queen of French chic. Columbia, David Patrick. New Yorker Mark Blee Passes, The Man Who Turned Built in Elegance into a Centimillion Dollar Restaurant Empire. San Francisco Sentinel. Retrieved November 21, 2007.